He's strong. It's a big old... Oh my goodness! Dude, this guy! Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're enjoying the series so far. This is the very last episode of the series, the final episode. Audible was awesome enough to say they wanted to sponsor a video, so thank you very much, Audible. Audible has been my best sponsor, bar none, done it most times for me, and I really appreciate it. So thank you. And to you guys who have been clicking on the Audible links, thank you very much. Uh, when Audible sees things happening, they want to sponsor again, and that's very good for my channel. It's summertime. Couldn't be a better time for Audible. You're out there lounging in the, on the lawn, you're taking road trips, <laughs> you're watching your kids play at the park, all that kind of stuff. And Audible comes in handy with that, with, with titles for that stuff. I thought I could recommend you a couple titles that I enjoy, that I think you might enjoy, that will go along the lines with this video. The first one is called Braving the Wilderness, The Quest for True Belonging and the Courage to Stand Alone. Now obviously, just by the title, you can tell that that's something that we would all be interested in. And this second one called North of Normal. This one's actually pretty interesting. A memoir of my wilderness childhood, my unusual family, and how I survived both. That one's very interesting. So once again, Audible is hooking you guys up. Start a 30-day trial and your first audiobook is free. Go to audible.com slash Robinette, or if you're in America, you can text Robinette to 500-500. That's audible.com slash R-O-B-I-N-E-T, or again, if you're in the States, just text R-O-B-I-N-E-T to 500-500. So like I've said before, they carry all sorts of titles, not just outdoor stuff. You can get stuff for your kids, for your parents, for your, anyone in the family, tons of different titles. And you can download anywhere, your phone, your tablet, your computer, lots of options. Okay, one more time, thank you very much to Audible for this sponsorship. Hope to have you back again, and uh, we'll get right into the video now. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy the very last episode in the 10 Days, 10 Items, Alone on an Island in the Canadian Wilderness series. Mini series, series. Well, it's six thirty now. I'm starving, man. Absolutely starving. The rice and vegetables didn't cut it last night. You know, it did it for the time being, but that's not that doesn't stick with you. I'm real hungry. I have to like salvage and like sp spread apart my food now, like make it last for real. I have like a handful of rice, a handful of oats, like maybe a day's worth of jerky. And I have all day today. It's six thirty in the morning. All day tomorrow, and then half a day uh, on the tenth day. I was really banking on fish for today. It's cold, man. It's almost too cold to go out in the rain and, and fish. Like, I will if I have to. I got my firewood still. About half of it. I got my rain gear. I don't know if, it, if anything will be biting in this. I know walleye like to bite in the rain, but... <laughs> that ship has sailed. <laughs> Tarp water. Better than boiling it and let it cool. I'm gonna drink this whole thing right now. Alright, the time has come. I gotta get out and get firewood. I have been feeling okay just because I'm sitting there not doing anything, drinking tea, drinking water. But even just trying to get these brain pants on took an effort. And I'm huffing and puffing. I have no energy at all. So this is gonna be uh, this is gonna suck. So I gotta get in the boat too. I, I've been looking around already. I went out three, four, five times and got the firewood that was around here. It's all gone. 
I know where there's a bunch of dead standing good ones like the other day. It's on that side of my island. I can't walk there because it's impenetrable. There'll be too many trips back and forth with the wood. So I gotta go up in the boat and uh, paddle around. I gotta take it easy though. <clears throat> I take my time. I'm 100% wearing my PFD this time. Uh, I've been wearing it and not wearing it, but in all reality, I should be wearing it the whole time because I'm by myself, but sometimes I just pop in the boat real quick or I don't feel like I need it if it's super calm out. And sometimes I can't get it on over that fall raven coat. All right, I'll bring you on the GoPro. That bad out here. It's raining. It's like constant rain, but the it's not like pouring by any means, I guess. Oh, she's a dark one, but. There's a few in a row. I'll go grab the biggest ones, like thigh thick at the at the uh, base. Come on, you know you want to. Just <laughs> trying to get into manageable pieces for now. wasn't as big as I thought it was, but I'll grab a few of these. Okay, I got two more good pieces. What I want to do is go back, drop them off uh, at the camp, grab my fishing pole, bring my saw, and as I paddle around fishing, I'll, I'll stop and grab decent sized thickness pieces. But I saw two really good ones, but they're almost a telephone pole size. I like the other one I cut the other day. I can't do it right now, so. Oh, damn, it hooked me. Hooked me good. All right, back out. First, I gotta throw some more wood on so my fire doesn't go completely out. Damn. I don't know, man. I might wait a minute till it's a bit calmer. Screw it, the wounds are out. Yeah, I hear you, bud. Uh-huh, la, 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 la. I think I'm gonna do my normal little loop up around past Century Island into that little river. It's not a river, it's just a narrow part. Kind of meandering a bit. That's where I catch 
that's working on, I think, three pike. What do you guys think? Is something going to bite in this kind of weather? Rain and waves and gray skies? I have my doubts. But, it's worth a shot, and actually, I don't mind being out here at all. I'm officially soaked through, but it's okay. I'll go back to the shelter and warm up. And after, this might take me an hour, hour and a half or so. Now there's something really nice about paddling on a rainy day, especially knowing I have a warm shelter to go back to with firewood there that I can dry out. perfect spot to catch a fish. One more cast. One more cast. It's hard with these, a bit hard with these gloves on. I don't want to take them off because it's super hard to get them back on once my hands get wet. In here, that was the cast. Fish on, fish on. Yep, yep. Nice, decent sized pike. We're eating them. Yeah, buddy. It's a decent fish. He's an eating fish for sure. All right. Now I can just paddle back. We haven't even got to the, the river part yet. It's not a river, but the meandering part yet. But I'm just gonna paddle through it. I don't need to troll. I don't want to catch another fish. So, see you guys back at camp. Oh my goodness! Thank God for this tarp. Seriously, look, everything's drying here. I'm drenched. I'm shivering. I'm cold, freezing, freezing cold. My hands are numb. I got my food in here. My pike. There's no supper and lunch nonsense today. There is only eating pike. I'm gonna sit by this fire. And I gotta dry out and warm up. Actually, I gotta build this fire again. And I didn't get more wood because it was so cold. Ah, uh, cold trying to fight the wind and everything. So, cut up this wood, make a fire, dry out, cook, eat, repeat. So, I got that whole pike in there. I got some rice, some veggies. I left just enough rice and veggies for tomorrow to do the same exact thing. This is a big old pot of food, guys. A big old pot of food. I'm super stoked to have this. Look at that. There's so much pike in there. Look at the chunks. Look at the chunk, boy. It's almost done. I mean, you can bet I'm gonna freaking sit here and mow this down. Nummy nums. That's a spicy meatball. Oh. Oh, warming me from the inside, filling my belly. Thank you, Pike. I'm getting there. It's, uh, it's filling, filling to say the least. I couldn't eat it all, so I put the remainder in my little dish here. It's not much, um, but it'll come in handy later on tonight. Put the lid on it, and I'll go clean this out, and I think... I'm going to make myself my very last hot chocolate, the present from my wife and kid. I was saving it for tomorrow, but that's okay. I still have one thing to make, uh, I have the things to make once more tomorrow. So that'll be my birthday cake. 
I'm really chilled right now. I'm trying to warm up. It's getting. It's hard to, to warm up. Instead of drinking hot water or spruce tea or Labrador tea, I'm gonna make that hot chocolate. I'm looking forward to it too. Well, that was really good. I still have that little bit I showed you for later on tonight. I actually changed out of my boxers and put on an extra shirt for the first time. So I'm feeling pretty good, feeling pretty warm. About to drink this, about to make this hot chocolate. Let her, let her sit for a moment. My gloves are soaking wet, that's why I'm able to do this. They're leather too, but... Oh, buddy! Thank you, Will and Emerald. My uh, my spoon eating utensil dealy. Look how dirty it is compared. Like the top part, I haven't shaved down, but I kept shaving down the bottom because it keeps getting super dirty. Like pretty nasty, actually. <laughs> but oh, can't touch it with that hand. But I've gone feral. I've gone feral out here. I don't care. It doesn't matter at all to me. Oh yes, cha buddy. Ciao, buddy G. Anyone know that reference? Ciao, buddy G. People just do nothing. I imagine only a small percentage of you know what I'm talking about. Ugh. Been loving this cook stuff. Been drinking sawdust and uh, lichen and moss and dirt and everything. Doesn't matter. Everything goes into my food, everything goes into my drink, and I just put it down my gullet. It does not matter. Bam, son. I'm feeling real good after that pike. I ate that whole thing. Well, oh, I put that whole thing in there. That's almost done. That whole, the whole pike is almost consumed, my point is. My point is, I can't even speak. Yeah, buddy. That is so good. Oh, man. It's turned out all right, you know? Just got to get up and do stuff every now and then, even if it means getting wet. It's just a waiting game. It's just like a... Not even a waiting game. It's just like an endurance thing. Like, skills aside, you know what I mean? You need to know how to make a fire. You need to know how to get food. You need to know... How to make a fire when you're wet, you know, dry off. All these things are very important. But it's just a, like a mind game. Just being out here alone for any amount of time. But just learning how to slow down. I bet you the footage from the beginning of the trip until now is completely different. My demeanor, I'm, I'm sure of it. Had a few good revelations. I think I thought of a name for my new daughter. I can't tell you before I tell my wife, before I run it by my wife. But, I hope tomorrow... I hope tomorrow I wake up and for my birthday, my birthday is tomorrow if you didn't know, um, I hope it's nice and sunny. But if it's not, that's fine. I can't lie and say I didn't have the uh, a thought, yeah, it's my birthday, nobody will blame me if I bail a day early. If I just, you know, pack up all my stuff, call Harlan on the sat phone, say I want to be picked up a day early and go. That thought did cross my mind, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to spend my birthday out here by myself like the plan was. And I bet you anything, even if tomorrow is a nasty day, I bet you tomorrow night will be epic. I'll have the perfect sunset, I'll have the perfect night. It'll be, it'll be all that much better for it. So I am going to, uh, to wait for that. And I'll be upset if I miss that. I'm just going to hang out, guys. I'll get back to you if anything happens. But other than that... This is me for the next till dark. Well, 
since I talked to you last, I needed more firewood. I was all out. I got a ton now. I fell in the water. Not bad, just up to my thigh. My one thigh and the, my next, my other leg was like up to my ankle or something. But both my boots are soaked. My socks are drenched. My pants are drenched. I'm just trying to dry out now. I'm steaming up a storm over here. It's okay. I got a lot of firewood and I cut it all up and I have a decent amount, but I'm probably going to use a, <laughs> the majority of it trying to dry out. These are all my clean clothes now too, right? Like, uh, yeah, so. Uh, and there I go, comes the wind again. It's late, it's like, it's 8.30. It's still pretty light out. That killed me, man, getting all this firewood. Cut down a couple big, really big trees, and it took me a long time to saw it up and get it back here. And saw it up here but I'm good for tonight now I, I needed I felt an urgency to get it in case tomorrow I wake up and it's just like a storm or whatever so it stopped raining for now I went out and did that but got wet in the process and that's okay I'll be fine I'm dried out pretty good now my socks are still wet but they're drying they're steaming up nice you can see my wood collection here, super, super twisted, so it's hard to uh, split, but I got her done. Man, it's a gorgeous night again. I'd be out there paddling in a second, but everything's wet, and I've really got to take time to dry it. I'll show you. Freezing cold on the feet. Let's see, you have a well-defined trail now. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's crazier than two minutes ago. Yeah, I wish I was paddling in that right now. Look at that. Yeah, another nice night. It seems like every night, man, it doesn't matter what the day is. The night is beautiful. Oh, I'm looking rough, look at me. Okay. Back in to warm up my feeties, my freezing cold feeties. smoked out well day eight was different um, yeah it started off I thought I was gonna be in bed all day in the shelter all day kind of thing I'm glad I went out it was fun at first I got that pike too it was some work after I gotta move here wind shifted um, yeah man it was it was another day, you know what I mean? It was another day over here. Tomorrow will be another day. Tomorrow's my last full day and night, and then I'm getting picked up the next day at midday. So it'll be 10 days. I'm excited. I'm excited for my birthday. 34 years old, man. I don't know what to think about that. There's not much to think, I guess. It's just what it is. 34 years old. I'm making up some Labrador tea. I'm not too cold. Got my, got my coat unzipped and everything for the first time in a while. Got my hat off. I haven't had this too coffee forever. So for this trip, I anticipated hot. Like the, the weather was supposed to be super hot. For the first few days, it was pretty warm. But I anticipated hot and bugs. <clears throat> not cold and rain and wind. Although rain was only really today, but cold and wind, a lot. But it's all good. You know what I mean? I, I don't get sick from cold and wind. I get sick from black fly bites. So maybe tomorrow will be a nice hot day. Either way, I'm excited to see what it'll be. I'm done my book. I don't know if I told you that. I've been done my book uh, pretty much earlier today. 
early in the day today. I think that water's quite boiled. They want to warm up that food. Still got it in the pan there. I'm just going to throw it on the fire and eat it up. I'm pretty hungry now. Cutting up that wood was crazy. Man, if I didn't have this jerky, Nick, that Nick uh, subscriber slash friend Nick sent me a bunch of jerky for this trip. If I didn't have that, man, I wouldn't be able to be able to keep going. Like, I mean, like two or three pieces. Just every time, like I crash, I need I need it. I can feel the energy from it. The fish is like the main staple for meat, you know, I mean, protein sustenance. But that that jerky is like throughout the day, just kind of keeping me going. I don't have much reserves, you know what I mean? I don't got a, a lot in the bank there. Well, here's hoping tomorrow, my birthday is a nice day, and I get something like this at night. Whatever happens, happens. This makes me wish there was someone here to see this. It's unreal. peepers in the background, the odd loon. Pretty magical. Well, good morning. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. It's 4 th uh, 420 in the morning. I'm going to get up and hopefully get on the water and watch the sunrise. Have a nice morning paddle. But i got to get up, warm up, make some food, and, uh, yeah, hopefully get, the, get that in time. A little birthday thing for me. I haven't done that yet, so why not, right? Blinding myself. Okay, up and at him. I'm 34 today on my birthday. So far, so good. It's a pretty decent morning. It's cold, very cold. Wow, it's cold. Ah. The lake is glass, though. Glass. I'll take this, man. Beauty morning. All right, I gotta eat the last of my oats and get out on that water quick. This is the first time I've felt a little rushed in days. Just wanted to get out here in time. It's not started yet. I'm gonna paddle around this island here on the other side of it and try and get the sunset or sunrise. There's mist like crazy. Happy birthday to me. Look at this. Oh man, we're gonna get it in its peak. This is perfect. This is perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Freezing cold. It's okay though. I'm happy for it. This is uh, idyllic. Like I was prepared for even rainy day with a good a good night. But like there's not a cloud in the sky. There's a tiny, tiny breeze if anything. The sun is just about to crest. There's fog on the lake, mist on the lake. It's uh, pretty serene. There's two loons right in front of me. I think. I can't really tell. Do something in the water.
Maybe I'll be able to grow a beard this year. <laughs> oh man, I'm stoked, guys. I really am. This is this is epic already. There she is. A little beautiful. Five fifty. Oh, she's bright, bud. She's a bright one this morning. That's the best morning of the trip. Maybe one of my best birthday mornings ever. I can feel the sun. Like, I'm like, I can literally feel the warmth. Oh, that's so nice. Well, I got lots of time today. And it seems like she's going to be a beauty. So, I do need a fish for today. I imagine I'll go back to camp soon and warm up because I'm really, really, really cold. Maybe uh, have a tea and some jerky. Spent a bunch of energy getting here. Not a bunch, but I'm starving. And, uh... Yeah, just relax for a bit and then come back out to fish because it's, again, it's uh, almost six. Almost six. Thank you for spending my birthday morning with me. That was pretty awesome. Pretty really awesome. Boots are still wet from last night. Nearly dry, but uh, no froze up on that paddle. This has been a really good shelter. I'm super impressed with the tarp. It's a tarp by AquaQuest. It was slapping around the whole week, like, and it's got just branches poking into it left and right. I did not um, clear them all off after after when I was putting more more log supports on in the middle of the windstorm just threw them up there uh, there's no holes in it it's got no spark holes this thing was used used for these 10 days very very impressed with it and I'm very happy that I brought the size that I did at first I was concerned that it was gonna be way too big I have no open space for it but imagine me and anything smaller but I did I spent a lot of time in this shelter um, I have a lot of things in this shelter that stayed dry, including, including the fire inside. So it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. This is what is not what I envisioned doing, but it made a lot of sense. I envisioned building a little bit more, but I'm only here for 10 days. I have to tear it down anyway. There's no point. Um, I took down enough trees and stuff anyway, so this was great. This, this did every single thing I needed it to do. Uh, very blown away. Very, very uh, happy with, with this type of shelter. If I had a, a second tarp, I could put it on the front and have a little bit of a wind block and maybe just leave this part open or whatever, but maybe for next time. perfect day happy birthday this is a shallow lake this is early in the season um, I was told that if there are walleye they're, they're not going to be deep anyway so who knows I'm gonna jig 20 30 feet off a, of a island here I, I got a fish while jigging seriously I, I got a fish while jigging if this is a walleye oh it's a pike oh 
But I got a fish while jigging. That's something. <laughs> oh man, that's so cool. I wonder what I should do. So here's my conundrum. It's early. I want a, I want a walleye. It's a nice eating size pike and everything, but I think I'm going to let him go. I think I'm going to let this guy go. That's what I'm doing. My good deed for the day. He was in about 10 feet of water, and I'm about 40 or 50, maybe 50 or 60 feet offshore, and the wind is pushing me in. Ah, and I trolled. I did not, or sorry, I jigged. I did not troll that. So, those are all good things to know. I thought it was a walleye. <laughs> Just gotta run to the corner store for a second. You wanna come with me? Here's the corner, and here's the store. My Labrador tea. I don't need a lot. Just a few leaves. We'll color good. Take out the stems, you know? Alright. Cheers, folks. I got that. Got my piece of jerky. I'm going to savor this piece. I'm down my last few pieces. Mm. Mm. Sleeping bag got a little wet with condensation last night moisture from me breathing inside it so letting her dry she's been there all, all morning I'm sure it's dry by now warm to the touch nice Lay out here on the rock, air my dogs, let the sun get at them. Oh my goodness. Oh, the sun feels so good. Oh my goodness. This has all really come together. Everything happened perfectly. I wouldn't change a thing now. I gotta really thank, uh, man, huge, huge thank you to Harlan. <clears throat> set me all up, set me up with this boat, with fishing tackle, uh, ooh, there's a big old rock. Um, wow, big old rock. Uh, sleeping bag, hook, drove me out here on the four wheeler. Uh, sent his fiance six hours each way to get me from the um, the Thunder Bay Airport. Six hours each way. Thank you. You know, what I mean, there's that's crazy. Didn't ask for a thing in return. This boat is a, is a blessing. I was expecting to use a normal canoe. I wouldn't have got around on those windy days. Not as not as easily. But fishing fish, fishing from it would have been difficult for me too. I'm not saying it can't be done. I'm saying for me personally. 
So, oh, and this boat now, I think he has it in his fleet. So, if you guys are thinking about a woodland caribou trip, I won't use a solo uh, boat this style. He has it now. I was the first one to use it. It's a little dinged up. It's a little scratched up now. Sorry about that, Harlan. But, thank you. Yeah, man. Wouldn't change a thing. I'm not having any luck right now. It's been that way for some time, but that's okay. It's my fault for letting that pike go earlier. And uh, like I said, it was just too early and I had high hopes. But if I have to eat rice and uh, vegetables for tonight and my last night, that's okay. I've taken a lot from this lake. And, uh, and I'm getting out tomorrow. And I can have spaghetti for supper. I've been craving spaghetti or bacon and eggs with dippy yolk. You dip that toast in there, son. Oh! Oh! <laughs> bacon and eggs, bro! <laughs> can I get a green eggs and ham? <laughs> I hope you hear the echo. I'm not just doing this for no reason. There's an echo. Oh, life is good. Life is good. And my wife. Like, everybody just kind of came together for me real quick at the end there. Like, I was supposed to come at a certain time. Like, I think I was supposed to get here yesterday or something like that. Maybe two days ago. And my trip's done tomorrow. So, like, it put me, like, a week or two. Or a week or, like nine days in advance or something like that um that math doesn't work anyways the trip got <laughs> moved everybody just like hopped to it my mother-in-law everybody so thank you to everyone for making this possible i hope that the video turns out well i hope the videos turn out well i'll make this into a little mini series um yeah man really cool i got lots of i got like seven sd cards full so that's going to be, uh, oh, plus the GoPros. Ugh. Plus my Olympus point and shoot. I have like 10 or 11 SD cards to go through. That's going to be fun. The things you start thinking of when you know you're leaving, eh? Like, that's going to become my reality now. Not waking up and paddling to try to fish to eat for the day. Clouds are just amazing. You guys, this is something else. This is like paddling in a dream. There's not a breeze. There's perfect mirror. Clouds in the water. Like, for real. Look at the clouds. The only sound is like faint birds on my paddle. This is an experience right now. Too. Well, I got a fish on, but by the sounds of it and the feel of it, he's a big one. Like, might be the same big, big guy I caught here the other day. This is the same exact spot I just cast here oh, after trolling, and uh, I got him. Yeah, he's pulling my boat. This is going to be a big fish. Darn. I'm not, I don't want a big old dirty fish. This is a big fish. Man, he's strong. It's a big old... Oh my goodness! 
Dude, this guy. The whole commotion going on. The crows. This big old pike fighting. He's not even that big. He's just feisty. He's big. But he's just feisty as the day is long. I'm eating him. He's not too big to eat. Come here, big guy. He's a beast, actually. He's not, he's not no joke size. Oh, yeah, he's a hog. Oh, my God, it's thick. I can't eat this thing. I feel bad. I'd waste so much. It's a hog. It's a hog. Oh, man. I just barely hooked him inside the lip, so he should be fine. But he's a beast, man. I'm letting him go. I can't. I can't. It's like literally like a super, super thick, dense fish. I don't want to just take him and eat part of him. He's, he's, he's obviously a monster in here, and uh, yeah, it would be a waste, but that's okay. That's okay. I feel okay about that. Man, that was a, that was a fight. That was a fight and a half. And literally, it had just in the tiny little corner of his mouth. I'm surprised he stayed on the line that long. Remember early in the trip, I was losing fish left and right. <laughs> Seems like a while ago now. Okay, I'm just going to keep doing this. Uh, I came to this part where that creek was, so... Meh. Anything that goes is fine. I'm enjoying the sun and enjoying being out here. I'm hungry and, and tired, but... It's my last real day. I need to be out, not just laying down. I did enough of that. Okay, back to back. I literally just let that guy go and put the camera away. I hope this is a good size for eating. It is. It sure is. Is that even a... Yeah, it is. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh. <gasps> you son of a gun! You son of a gun! <laughs> he got my camera a little wet. He got me pretty wet too. All right, this is my eater. This is my dinner for sure. Nobody gets my camera wet. <laughs> okay, not too shabby. It's a good eating size. Still not even small by any means, but way better eating size than that other one. So we will uh, continue paddling around for a little bit. Then make our way back because the wind's picking up and the clouds are gathering. I think it'll be fine, but continue our little paddle, make our way back, prepare this guy, have a decent meal, and uh, relax and wait for the nighttime. Hopefully, hopefully get hopefully get a good nighttime paddle in, nice uh, sunset, calm water style. But either way, this day has already been a blessing, so anything's good. Oh, where's the wind? Oh my gosh, as soon as I said that, let's still prefer a calm night. Okay, I got some really nice fillets off that, like really nice fillets, probably the nicest ones I've got so far. I got a ton of meat here. Look at that. That's a healthy amount of good looking meat. I'm really impressed with those. Um, I did it on the rock across again, because there's no sign of anything there so that means the rest of it didn't go to waste something ate it so i did that again i'm sapped like i have zero energy at all i gotta still cut up firewood luckily i got firewood earlier i just have to cut it up and split some make some kindling and whatnot i gotta take my time because I, I don't have any energy at all i can't really breathe too good like walking up this little incline to the camp was like <sighs> But I'm really glad I got that fish, man. That's that's important. So that everything will be fine. You know, I'll even out after I eat that. I just gotta take my time. I'm tired. Don't get up at four in the morning, Joe.
some really dense good wood should split okay too it's not too twisted yesterday I had some real twisty stuff It's been in a fire before, or part of the forest was burned that it was in. There's char all over the outside of it. Ow! Outside of it. I guess you can't see that way. See? Should mean it's dry. Firewood, man. Never ending job. All right, got my fish in here, keeping cool. I'm gonna cook up a small piece right now, or one of the pieces right now, um, before supper. Look at this. The we got some good fillets, man. That is a decent fillet. Shoot. That might make it split when it cooks. I messed up. I messed up. Anyways, there she is. Prop that up. Cook that up for now. I got chilly again, man. Wind kicked up. I gotta, gotta put layers back on. She done. Got some pack there. I didn't put any steak spice or any kind of seasoning. I guess that is my seasoning. I didn't put any steak spice on. So I'm just gonna score a little bit of lemon, but I have to be super careful. My hands are full of cuts and they're all infected. I'm talking like painful. I can't touch things without my hands throbbing. So the thought of lemon juice getting on them is just not fun. Like I'm okay with a little bit of pain, but it's just that's not fun. Alright. This is my appetizer for my before my main course of pike, rice, spice, and veggies. Don't fall off on me. Tastes like pike. I've come to know the taste well. Okay, not so bad. Eat this guy up and cook up the rest of my food. In between that, I'm going to start the fire again. It's not done, but fuel the fire. Get it ready for my next session of cooking. My, uh, I have a three course. I'll have a three course birthday dinner. <laughs> First course was good. Second course will be better. I'm going to cut it up into chunks. Half this size, like that. There's water in my pot. I went and got fresh water. I'm going to boil them good. Then I'm going to use the water to make my rice and veggies, like I've done in the past. Like I did like the first time I got the pike, or maybe the second, and I said, I want to do this for dinner on my birthday. This is what I want to have. I'm doing that. But I got lots of pike this time. Like a ton of pike. So it'll be a good dinner. And I'll obviously not be able to eat it all because I'm a little boy. 
and I'll save some for a midnight snack again because that worked out pretty good yesterday. I'm not going to eat this little flimsy piece. Don't ask me why. Okay. That goes on to boil, and then I'm going to show you the remainder of the food that I have left. To show you how close it came. And without the fish, I don't think it would have been possible. Okay, that's good. I'll show you the food. Okay, she's real light. So I've got... Oh, and I didn't have my lemon in there. My lemon is right here. This goes with that. My lard, which I'm going to use tonight again. My lemon. My vegetables. Almost gone. This lemon's almost done. There's a lot of lard. There's like barely anything left in this lemon. Tons of lard left. About half the spice left. Two spoonfuls of granola or oats in the morning. Like five pieces of jerky. This is the jerky that saved my life. <laughs> About a half a portion of rice. Okay, that's what I brought. So all that's what I brought. And then my wife sent me the, uh, the graham crackers, the chocolate bar, and the marshmallow. I have two tiny squares of chocolate bar, one marshmallow, and half of what it should be for a s'mores for graham crackers. So cutting her close. Um, I could have probably went without the lard, to be honest with you. But I thought I needed it for frying and stuff. And obviously I didn't get enough fat, but this stuff isn't, I don't think it's too good for me to be eating either. But the jerky man, Nick, the jerky man, thank you. There you all go in, there you all go in. Now I've got my fish done and I left it in cubes or chunks. So as that stuff's cooking, I'm going to sit here and debone these Y bones. Because I find I get way more meat when I don't try to debone the the fish as I'm filleting it. If I just cut the bones right into the, the fillets and then do this after I, t I find I get much more meat. I'm losing it. I'm losing it. I'm, I'm tired and weak and hungry. <laughs> Food is ready. Food is not ready. Food is on its way. See? Food's on its way. enough lard right that's all the pike deboned as you can see there's a lot of meat there so this might be a little eaten fest not three courses <gasps> two courses and my dessert will be my third I guess yeah I'll have to eat this in two settings this is way too much food for me just the pike alone it looks like so much Old Joe, old Joe and his shrunken tummy. <laughs> Alright folks, finished product. There's a lot of food here. A whole lot of food. Big old chunks of rice too. I mean, <laughs> fish. Durr. Might as well squeeze the crap out of the lemon into it. I'm done though. We'll sit down here and eat. It's nice. It's a nice night. Nice evening. Are we recording? Yes. All right. Happy birthday dinner. I'm sure it'll be nice enough to go for a paddle tonight. It seems like it's already calming down. I wonder what my family's having for my birthday dinner. All right. All right, the time has come. I'm waiting no longer. I have three squares of chocolate. My focus. One marshmallow. I'm gonna 
I pre-made my, my marshmallow stick, you know, I'm not messing around here. Oh, heavenly. And I have a thing that ties her all together, if she's still intact. Is she still intact? Intact. Nice. I've got two halves of halves, so a quarter. So if I, that's going to go on there perfectly, and then roast some marshmallow, it'll be good. I'm tempted to take one of these pieces of chocolate off and eat it by itself. I think I will, because that's still going to be good. I'm going to do that. I'm definitely doing that. I'm going to save that piece of chocolate for after. This is uh, real, real stuff, boys and girls. Okay, so this is going on here. I'm going to set this on the rock to melt while I roast the marshmallow. I don't like roasting it on the flames. I want to roast it on the embers. Oh yeah, just like that, just like that. But bam, son, I'm super stoked on this right now. Can you tell? Can you tell? Okay, we're done. Melty, good marshmallow. Don't leave the center in. Bam, 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 bam. That's about perfect. Dripping chocolate. My clean hands, too. Oh, I almost forgot. That's really good. That's super good. Much better. All right. Best s'more ever. Ever. Not just because of where I am and what day it is and me waiting to cook it, but that was actually a really good s'more. Like that melted perfectly. <sighs> Happy birthday. Content. Content. I only ate about half of that food, and that was a while ago now. I, I waited probably about an hour since I stopped eating to eat that. I'm gonna eat the rest of that after my paddle tonight. And then, I'm good on the pike for a while. Real talk. That's an amateur bald eagle. For sure. Yeah, 100% bald eagle. Oh, his branch snapped. They're wanting to land on that rock and get the scraps, get that pike. So there must still be some left. I'll go check it out. It's tore to shreds already. That's cool. Very cool. 
sunset's coming. There she goes, setting behind the trees right now. The perfect day, man. It's awesome. This thing just played out absolutely perfect. I'm pleased to have done it. Very, very pleased to have done it. And I'm ready to go home, that's for sure. <laughs> so is that guy. Yeah. Yeah, ready to see the wife and kid and get back to editing and planning my next trip and stuff. But this is a this is a good one. Great birthday. Spent my 34th birthday alone on an island in the Canadian wilderness. <laughs> Nowhere near where I live. If I drove here, it would take 30 hours. I took two planes. I took a six-hour car ride. I took about a two-hour truck ride. And then a couple kilometer quad ride. And then a paddle, however far I paddled in. My first camp was not far from the from the takeout. Maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minute paddle. And then where I am now, maybe like another 20 minute paddle from there. But I've explored this whole... Uh, this whole lake, I've gone on a lot of the islands. I Oh, I just found a bunch of, um, must have been a, a birthing island for moose. Uh, a bunch of moose poop on it. And I've been seeing rabbit like hair, like snowshoe hair, rabbit poop all over the place. But I assume either they're hiding really well or they just come to the islands on the, in the winter time. And bounce. Not bounce. Before, uh, before it melts. It's going to be a good night. There's going to be some color. I believe there's going to be some color. Oh, man. What a nice day. No bugs at all. The mosquitoes came out today, but who cares? Perfect, man. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Thank you for watching and continue to watch. And if you've been watching for a long time, thank you even more. It's, uh, it allows me to do a, this kind of thing put it out as best as I can for you guys to watch, right? Like it's a good, it's a win-win. <laughs> you know, it'll be a good birthday present for everyone watching to subscribe. I would like to get to a million subscribers. I'd like to be the first bushcraft channel to get to a million subs. I'm like 600 right now, or I was 10 days ago. I don't know what I'm at now. 600,000, sorry. Yeah, that'd be great if you do that. I'd appreciate that. It'd be really cool. It's been a very good trip. Did I say that? And it's my birthday. Did I tell you guys? I'm 34. <laughs> I'm 34. Born in 84. 1984. Look the dope. Good year. It's a fine, fine vintage. <laughs> I'm probably gonna split this thing up into like maybe three parts, four parts with a gear video tops. So this will be the the last. I'll still film this, but this section will be the last uh, episode. We'll call it 
call it a mini series. So you guys will already know that. But yeah, I'll take you along with me tomorrow getting picked up and everything as long as I don't ra yammer on too much. Again, thank you everybody that um, made this possible. Harlan, Lucas, um, Kevlin, Wilhelmina, um, Brian, anybody else that I'm forgetting. Thank you all, big time. All right, guys. Once it turns a little bit more colorful, I'll probably hit the camera again. I already did thank them in a gear video, but for those who, who didn't watch it, or again, I'd also like to thank Frost River for the backpack, uh, AquaQuest for the awesome tarp, and Hestra for the gloves. They all came in really handy. I liked all of them, and I'll be able to use them again. This fire is pretty close to my lens, so I'm going to move that. That wood burns like crazy, man. There's so much resin in it. You guys, I forgot about the piece of chocolate I broke off. I just saw it sitting next to my chair. Mm, bonus birthday surprise. Mm -hmm. Yep. pretty awesome day pretty good birthday cool way to spend it for sure I'm whipped I'm dog tired it's 11 o'clock I just wanted to stay up and see the stars see the possibility of a another northern lights but I can't really stay up any longer I'm super tired So, I'm going to finish this up, I'm going to tuck myself in my little Betty, and that'll be it, and that'll be it for my birthday. I'll celebrate with the family when I get home. This is a good trip. Nine day, nine nine nights, ten days. Ah, uh, tomorrow I'll get up, and I'm sure I'll pack up pretty quick and stuff. I'll be anxious. It's time to go now, you know. I'll probably troll. <laughs> I'll probably troll along the way back. You know, if I catch anything, I'll just release it. Watch me catch a walleye. One more. Oh, she's still hot. She's still hot. Pour myself one more cup of this tea, and then uh, I'm going to call it a night. Hear him? I got spruce tips and Labrador tea in there. All right, guys, thanks for spending my birthday with me. Have a good night. I'll see you in the morning. Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed, I'm sure. Hopefully later than 4.30. Let's call it 7. 7 would be fantastic. We'll see how that goes.
Good morning. Last day, day 10. 5.20 in the morning. Yep. I've been laying here since 4. Can't go back to bed. It's super late already, so... Gonna get up and eat my scoop of oats. <laughs> Start packing up. Had a good sleep again. Just can't sleep past like four or five for some reason. And my face is swollen. <sighs> Spruce brow bed, man. I'm loving it. Really, I thought it was gonna be the worst part of it, and it, I've had restless nights for sure. Get up early, early, but restless nights, which is a good thing. Restless? No. I mean, restful. I've had nights full of sleep, bro. Just instantly warm. That's such a hot fire. Go oh, perfect. That's how I stayed warm those windy, cold, rainy days. Sitting in front of this fire. We want to do something, then coming back. Sitting in front of the fire. Alright, where's my little bit of oats? Oats! You see that? That's gonna sustain me for hours. <laughs> oh, I do have a couple pieces of jerky I saved. How many? Like four. Four pieces of jerky. Bam, but those will be all. I'll eat those in the canoe on the way to the takeout for sure. Alright. Please, sir, can I have some more? I'm gonna take much water on that one. More black stuff in my water. Look at all those. Ugh. I'm ready to stop eating stuff like that now. Go back to being somewhat clean. I'm taking this spoon with me. Look at it. Look at the difference in it. I keep shaving it down to keep it clean. Look at the top half. That's, that's about how my hands look. I can't do much with my fingers anymore. Like even opening that Ziploc bag to get the oats out, it's like torture. My 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 fingertips, my fingers are all split and cracked and burned and everything. I probably said that a hundred times, but it's it's a serious thing. It's probably the worst injury I've got out here. It's just my hands just beat up. I remember that from when I was out here with Sean too. It's got to be the the fish. Like obviously when you're breaking firewood and stuff too, if you don't have gloves on every single time, this jack pine's super tough. Like when you think you can break a twig, it like it holds. So then it jabs you in the finger or whatever too. It's just a common occurrence. Fishing line, fishing hooks, fish. And then they get infected I think from touching the fish so much. And dirt. But anyways, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I'm not complaining about my fingers. Just talking about what what's going on, you know? Okay, look at that. That's going to fill me up, no doubt. I'll be completely full off this. I don't even need to eat the rush. It's hard to believe it's over. It's kind of surreal. I'm going to probably start packing up pretty soon here. I may take a couple minutes just to myself and uh, kind of recap on everything that happened and just appreciate and give thanks. I'll get back with you guys when I start to pack up. Looks very different without a tarp there. This was an awesome setup. Like went better than I could have planned for sure. Very impressed with that tarp. There's not a burn hole or a poke hole in it. Like what I mean, I didn't strip off all the pokies of everything. I did on the main pole where it was resting, but you know the wind slapped it against these things about a billion times this trip. And you can see this black from the burning, like above the fire, all those pine needles are black. And absolutely no, no burn holes in the in the thing. Super impressed, seriously. Oh my 
poor fingers are so sensitive. Uh, I know, just put on your gloves, Joe. That hurts too. This prop log was probably very important in those windy days. On those windy days. Can't breathe. Take a jerky break. Eat one one piece of my jerky. So this is my shelter, man. You can see like moss carpeting all the way, like safe distance away from the fire, moss carpeting on top of my bed. This is why I didn't need to build an actual bed. Here's the tarp. I'm sure I could have got it smaller if I really tried. I just don't have it in me right now. It's just gonna go in the canoe, it's fine. I gotta take it off to get on the ATV anyway. So, bottom straps on this sleeping bag, and then we're all done packing up. I'm not leaving yet. I'm gonna wait till the fire's out completely. It's still a little warm. I just peed on it, and uh, yeah, just hang out for a bit, sit by the water and relax. Alrighty guys, that's my little offering. Two eagle feathers and a sweet uh, pot hanger. This has been an awesome spot. Probably never be able to replicate something like this, but just the whole situation, the moss carpet, the good fire in front, the soft bed, the sun, the breeze, the view, the fish, what more can I say? Goodbye, Sight. You were a good one. There she is. Loaded up, gear thrown everywhere. No energy or care to pack it away properly. Almost lost the boat. It almost drifted away. The very last thing. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll, uh, I'm just going to paddle around. That's what I'm doing. Mr. Gull is still there, picking away at the remaining pike. Good to see, good to see. You have a good one, Mr. Gull. Won't be seeing you again. You're welcome. It's actually pretty windy and wavy. I'm gonna go my meandering route way, just for old time's sake, instead of paddling directly take out the spot. This is part of the reason I really like this meandering part. Even though it's not calm, dead calm, it's way more calm than out there on the open water. And you get a small, intimate like river feel off of it. Man, I can normally catch fish here. Nice big flat open rock. Looks right. Looks right. I'm calling this good. Woo! Rick Flair on the wilderness. Yeah, yep, 100%. Nice. We made it. We made it. I got all my stuff up on the shore. I got a couple hours to wait here still. But I am pooped. I gotta eat the rest of my jerky right now. I ate a couple pieces on the way, I needed it. <clears throat> Let's see what the bag holds. Magic bag of jerky. Oh, it's not promising. That is not fortunate. Aside from crumbs, I have two pieces left. Oh man. <clears throat> it's crazy what little food can do to you. I've done more on trips than this, like energy wise, like um, that one last fall with Doug, we did some crazy portages. Um, even my last spring one 
made by myself. I did like six hours paddle, six hours portage the last day in the rain to get out. I had food though. I normally don't need much food to run on. <coughs> Excuse me. Not a big guy at all. But when my energy goes, I legit need food. I can feel the energy come back. <coughs> I'm sorry. Come back to me as I'm eating. It's good to know. It's good to put your body through this, I think. It's good to understand what you can do on what and how it affects you. What a good trip. It's unbelievable. Really. I probably said that five times, but it's the truth. I really feel like it. Absorber. Eat the moisture absorber. I'm almost there, almost at that point. Well, I really hope Harlan knows to bring like a granola bar and a bottle of water for me. That would be heavenly. I just carried the canoe maybe a quarter of the way so that those guys don't have to come all the way down here to, with the four wheelers. It was arduous last time that is super steep and rocky and getting hung up I'm going to continue to do that with the rest of the gear and try and get it just up there a bit they're supposed to be here in a half an hour it's hot now ah, I need a drink well that was worth it I just saw a caribou on my last carry through First caribou I've ever seen uh, in person. Woodland caribou. Okay, all I have left, all I have left is my tarp and my camera bag. My camera bag has a ton more stuff in it now because I just threw it all in instead of trying to organize the other bag. But I'm going to carry that stuff and the camera up the trail and wait on the trail for those guys. It's in the shade and uh, it's cooler. This is real hard going. Real hard going, slow going too. Man, completely uh, empty. Uh, I want to stop for a break, but I know if I put this thing down, I'm not picking it back up. So I'm just trying to go super slow. There's no point in me getting three quarters of the gear where it is, a quarter of the way there. For them just to have to go all the way to the lake for my last piece of gear, right? That doesn't make any sense at all. What's up? I got, I, I, how far am I? Not far at all, eh? It's okay, you got shirt was now. It's a big guy. How are you? I'm alright. Good to see you, man. Good to see you, to see you Joe. Thanks for coming, guys. <sighs> You got a granola bar with my name on it? We got a granola bar with your name on it. You want some no drink? Yes. No, lots of bear poop, lots of eagles. No bears at all. Okay, I got some food. Apple cinnamon breakfast thingy. I hate apple cinnamon, but I'm down. I'm getting it down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank Brian. You're welcome. Thank you, Brian. This is the spot, man. I brought that for myself. Oh, you want one? No, no. <laughs> you want one? I got another one in the car. You know what? I hate apple cinnamon. This is Come here, Kino. fabulous. Brian brought, Brian brought me the apple cinnamon goodness. Breakfast bar. Yeah. yeah, which I hate, but I love right now. And actually, I think I'm going to start eating those. And Harlan brought me the so-called king of beers. I'm going to try this. Oh, yeah. Does that taste just like Great Lakes Brewery? It, yes, right now it's <laughs> phenomenal. Mmm.
There's the truck. The truck finally. So like I said, the four wheelers didn't make it down this time. I was afraid of that, so it's a good thing I started walking. Good thing these guys came and sure put my gear for me because I would about died. And gave me breakfast bars and beer. That's always a plus. <laughs> it's like a it's like an album, breakfast bars and beer. It's a, it could be an album name, no? All right. Well, that's it. We're about to head down the long, dusty road. <sighs> Sleep at Harlan's tonight and uh, get on the plane tomorrow, see my family. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Once again, thank you to everyone who, who was involved. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I had a really good time. This won't be the end. See lots of videos soon coming up. Joe's back. <laughs> Where'd he go? Thanks a lot. Bye. Good girl! Yeah, he's pulling my boat. This is going to be a big fish. This is a big fish. There's a whole commotion going on. Crows. This big old pike fighting. He's not even that big. He's just feisty. He's big, but he's just feisty as the day is long. I'm eating him. He's not too big to eat. Come here, big guy. He's a beast, actually. He's not, he's not no joke size. Oh, yeah, he's a hog. Oh, my God, it's thick. I can't eat this thing. I feel bad. I'd waste so much. It's a hog. It's a hog. Oh man. Okay, and I just barely hooked him in the side of the lip. So he. I just barely hooked him inside the lip, so he should be fine. But he's a beast, man. I'm letting him go. I can't. I can't, it's like literally like a super, super thick, dense fish. I don't want to just take him and eat part of him. He's, he's, he's obviously a monster in here and uh, yeah, it would be a waste, but that's okay. That's okay. I feel okay about that. Man, that was a, that was a fight. That was a fight and a half. And literally I had just in the tiny little corner of his mouth. I'm surprised he stayed on the line that long. Remember early in the trip I was losing fish left and right? <laughs> Seems like a while ago now. Okay, I'm just gonna keep doing this. Uh, I came to this part where that creek was, so meh. Anything that goes is fine. I'm enjoying the sun and enjoying being out here. I'm hungry and, and tired, but it's my last real day. I need to be out, not just laying down. And I did enough of that. Crazy fish. Okay, back to back. I literally just let that guy go and put the camera away. I hope this is a good size for eating. It is. It sure is. Is that even a... Yeah, it is. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Oh. <gasps> you son of a gun! You son of a gun! You got my camera a little wet. I got me pretty wet too. All right, this is my eater. This is my dinner for sure. Nobody gets my camera wet. <laughs>